incredible. Electric atmosphere at Rec Hall, and they're ready for the two national champions. The 184-pound match. Miles Martin, national champion two years ago at 174. Bo Nickel, last year's national champion at this weight. Here they go. They've got a history, and Miles Martin is the only wrestler to ever beat Bo Nickel multiple times. But he's never beaten him in the regular season. So here we go. The dual meets have belonged to Bo Nickel. You know, everybody's talking about this is turning into the one of the biggest rivalries in our in the sport of college wrestling here, these two national champions going at it in their junior year. And what Martin, when he's had success, he's he's been precise in his technique and he doesn't do anything crazy where Bo Nichols' hips are involved. He doesn't get into wild scrambles. He'll actually duck away or, or move away and not really attack the hips in critical situations where he knows that Nichols has an, that Nickel has an advantage. I'd like to roll with him. A two on one action off the shot there by Miles Martin. Martin out of Penns Grove, New Jersey, McDonough School. And Bo Nickel from Allen, Texas. And what's fun about these matches is, you know, both these guys are going to wrestle. It's like a heavyweight prize fight. You're never safe in that circle. These guys let it fly. Well, we know one guy does for sure. That's, that's Bo Nickel. He just will go dub, double overs. Said this before. What impressed me about last year in the national finals was his ability to go ahead and attack below the knee against a real solid wrestler, Gabe Dean. You know, he, he has the whole package. But, and I think I know he's, he treats the fans a lot with the big moves. Saw the splay the last year against Iowa. And like I said, he does a lot of stuff over the double overs. But this has been the one guy he's had a difficult time, you know, uh, doing all that too. And I think it's just a tribute to the techniques that, that uh, Martin has. He likes to attack below the knee as well. And, but you saw where in that last sequence there, he, he had a chance to go around the waist and said, nah, no dice, all right? <laughs> 42 and 0, that's the uh, cumulative record of these two. 22 and 0, Miles Martin, 20 and 0, Bo Nickel. No losses between them. Something's got to give tonight. And I think 37 of those wins bonus points. Martin has 20 of his 22 wins this season, bonus points. Wow, right there. He's coming around the waist, though. No threat by Bo, right? Nice roll no points by yet. Bo Nickel. And that's why you see that. That's, the, that's okay. how that turned into an advantage situation for Nickel. Instead of staying down low below the waist, he got to the waist. And Nickel's really at home there. Three of two. A challenge there, of course, on this. Challenge came before, actually, the action at the edge. It was, um, they thought maybe that... Um, Nickel maybe wait yeah. on the hands for a takedown? Right. Yeah. And uh, now they didn't think the two should have been given because of the score so table. You see, Jay Jaggers, the one that's actually talking to the, the referee. I mean, Tom is in an emotional state right now that he's, he's got it. <laughs> you mentioned it before, Shay, the intensity that he showed up at Rec Hall with, but... Jaggers, a little cooler right now, being able to communicate. Get another look at it here. Yeah. 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 Oh, and so they did that earlier at 125, and With Tomasello's heel broke it, and they gave the two there. Just really blows my mind how Nickel yeah. was able to Let's get out of that. Take a look at the se sequence right here. See how he comes up around the waist? And that's right at, you see, Nick, no panic out of Nickel. Reaches for the double over. Goes right into the roll. All right, did they go off the mat at this point? No. All right. So, 
I think what the Ohio State guys are saying is that, oh, that toe might be Take in. Takedown came be. But he hit the he hit the scoreboard first. It looked like too. Right. So it, it's a judgment call. And yeah, the challenge is uh, for a takedown first by Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. no reaction time. Right. And, so that's and, what they're uh, and and, and Rich Sto- Strobel is going to be looking at Greg here. Greg Strobel is the video replay or replay person. It won't be John Nath, the official. So. Strobel will look at that. The challenge is, did Martin have the takedown, no reaction time, and not be called? Yeah. There's Greg Strobel. Greg is a experienced hand and, of course, National Wrestling Hall of Famer. Yeah, let's take a look at see if there's any... No reaction time, man. No reaction time on the takedown, but I'm not seeing a takedown yet. All right, there's no weight on the hands. Right. Did he have control there? Yes. Probably make a case for that. (laughs) So Greg Strobel, former head coach at Lehigh, is the video replay man and taking a look at it. And he'll make the decision on whether Ohio State's challenge is will overturn the non-call. The official did not call the takedown, and, uh, and Ohio State is challenging on Miles Martin should have had a takedown with no reaction time. Right it goes there. without saying, this is a critical call because it's late in the first period as well, so give somebody a situation, get a takedown and a ride out, take a 2-0 lead to the second period. Greg Strobel's done this a few times now, but he is right in the middle of it right now. Take a look at this a little bit better, different angle. No takedown to that point, but when he goes down to his shoulders right there, it looks to me like that's what the, they're contesting. No reaction time. Do you right see enough Jim to overturn it? I, do, I guess I do, yeah. Greg Strobel there talking to the official about what he sees because he'll make the call here. Yeah, and I'm not, I don't know if I would overturn it, but I do, I do see enough that it might be overturned. The longer this goes on makes me believe that it's going to stand. Cale Sanderson, the head coach there in the white shirt. 159 and 0 as a competitor at Iowa State. As a coach, he's won six out of the last seven years. The national title for Penn State. Yeah, there's going to be a takedown. So I just we're just reading body language here. We don't really have any indication. And here it comes. Call stands. Call stands, no takedown, and 2-4. Bo Nickel, so he's out in front 2-0, and all you want to do is get things right, and it took a while there, but now 20 seconds left in the first period. Very important time for Miles Martin. Yep. And he's out. 4-1. Yep. So it's 2-1. You're neutral. You're neutral. You're neutral. Really saw the urgency there for Martin. That's yeah. a critical yeah. escape. Yeah, it was. You saw the explosiveness, too. So I just don't think, guys, one takedown is going to decide this match. I'm with you there. Yeah. Three takes. Three takes bottom. So Bo Nickel, the national champion last year at this weight class, will choose down to begin the second period, leading two to one. And he's a threat from every position. So particularly this position, he's thinking about what he can do to go ahead and take Martin to his back. So you see that big step right there. Now come into a double over and Martin wisely just doesn't want anything to do with this. Pushes him away, not high, but at the hips. Get those crazy hips away from me. He reminds you of Dylan Ness a little bit? Uh, He reminds me of Randy Lewis uh, a lot. And and, and yes, Ness, and he's got the whole package. And Miles Martin, you see, like he likes, you talk about space, he likes to have a gap. And when he's free to move there, and he's so quick. And what you get with guys like this, they don't, you know, 
There's the low shot, wow. switch off to a double, but you know what, it wasn't there, right? He shut that off, now he's got the head and arm. Nope, he's just got a body lock. No correct control, this is the scramble, you gotta try to keep your head up in the scramble. Miles Martin trying to come up from behind. Tough to do with that, those scissors lock around the head and arm. Now he's got both ankles and an ankle pass situation. He's looking to improve his position. This is the same technique that you saw uh, Nolf use quite a bit. <laughs> They're just so comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. In, in the weirdest, well, funkiest positions, they are right at home. Well, Martin wisely just doesn't play ball in there. And if he doesn't get exactly what he wants in a short period of time, he, he, he's been able to go ahead and neutralize and get the stalemate. And that's not easy to do. And just when you think it's it's all he's playing defense the whole time, he gets on a shot of his own. Good work, left-handed high crotch switches off to a double. And Bo Nickel comes in the high crotch off to the double takedown, two points. Short time scoring inside ten seconds. Unanswered, big time points for Nickel. Well, so well set up because you get your guy, your opponent thinking about, well, can I really score on these hips, these legs, and all of a sudden when you're thinking about that, he hits a shot of his own. And Nickel, when he got in on the legs, he took a quick glance up at the clock, knew where he was at, stayed patience, finish gets the ride out. The clash of the two national champions right here. Miles Martin two years ago at 174. Last year's 184. Bo Nickel. Nickel out in front, five to one. Great hips by wow. Martin comes out for one, but nice shot, reshot back in. And this is where Martin doesn't want to be nope. rolling around with Nickel. Again, it gave up the points, but he didn't want to give up the big points. Seven to two. Martin falls behind with a minute and a half left in the third period. This is pretty reminiscent of the duel they had last year at Ohio State. Of course, Martin came back and beat him in the Big Tens. Nickel not disappointing the fans here at Rec Hall tonight. Riding time over a minute now for Nickel. Let's go, both men improve here. One minute left in the third period. Go, Red, go to men. Star warning on Martin. Good solid ride now there with the two on one. And you know, this is where you, you feel your opponent maybe give in a little bit. And Nickel looking to make a, a statement if he can get a two point near fall. Yeah, and he's a pinner. They're going hard for it. Come on, Bo, do it Stepping out in front. 15 seconds left. Bo Nickel going to drive it home. Gets the big win here at 184. Well, the difference in Bo Nickel this year. Trying to get past 45. He gets past 45 for two. Yeah. 45 degrees is the benchmark there, and he drives him over, and he gets, Bo Nickel gets a major decision as time runs out.